How's it going, everybody? This is by Beggar's Baseball here, and back with another video. Today I'm here with my formerly raised account. After a long last, I finally decided to switch over to a Cardinals deck. I mean, at this point, just saving all these packs, kind of uh, taking the fun away from this team, so I thought now was as good of a time as any to do that. So we have some packs to open up first, but at the end I'm going to open up all these Ultimate Team Select packs along with one of these regular Team Select Diamond packs. And so yeah, without further ado, I'm going to quickly open up this daily pack, see what we pull from it. So hopefully we see at least one Diamond have an Ultimate Team Select pack. I don't think I've ever pulled a Diamond out of one of those, so... Probably like 0 for 10, 0 for 15 at this point. So hey, maybe our luck changes there. But without further ado, let's quickly open up these silver packs first. Let's see how we do from these. Maybe a cardinal or something. We do have a goldschmidt. So hey, he's a guy. Definitely would not be opposed to pulling today. So now let's move on to these premium packs. See how we do from these. First 10. Okay, one gold. So I mean, guess that's better than no golds. See these last three. I mean, I assume we get at least one gold out of these. And we do not. So one gold out of 13 premium packs. Not exactly what I was hoping for, but... I mean, I guess it's better than... Pulling a bronze out of a premium pack. So, just something to think about, I guess. Let's open up these live season premium player packs. And let's see. Two golds. So, there's our luck. Got Kristen Stewart and Rollis Chapman. And so, now let's get into these ultimate packs. Who knows, I mean, I hope for at least one diamond here, though it doesn't look like we're gonna pull one. So we have Chu and Kehan. Now we can get into some combos. Quickly check for upgrade material. Oh wow, we actually have three players being upgraded, so. It's very cool. Unfortunately, it fails, Nat Kennedy, then Adam Duvall. No idea where I have that normal from. I wanted from the daily pack. Just to be honest, I was pretty focused. I, don't, <laughs> I almost did that. That would have been bad. But yeah, I wasn't too focused on what I pulled out of that daily pack. It just kind of focused on talking. So it's one thing there. I'm not going to throw in one of those Petrocellis. So it looks like I have somebody to lock. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into these combos. So with normals, personally, I like to just do three at a time. I mean, just so you can max out the amount of shuffles you get. Don't have a whole lot of cards to throw into shuffles or a whole lot of normal or bronze cards. I mean, haven't really opened packs on this account since, I guess, my last video, which was a long time ago at this point. So, maybe we see a silver out of this shuffle here. Don't want to throw in that normal because it might bring me down in grade. So, yeah, here we go. Alright, we do have a shuffle here. Jason Shreve, who's actually pitching really well for the Mets. It's a pretty good pickup, though unfortunately we do pull that. Aaron Gordon. Why not? I'm Alex Gordon, wow. Aaron Gordon's a basketball player. So let's see how we get out of this shuffle. Melina would be amazing. So unfortunately, pull that man. And so let's keep going here. Is that three for three? Let's see a gritty size more. He was a good player, had some injury struggles, but made a comeback. And it's cool that we pull him. A little too little, too late, I guess. To convince me to go with a race team. I'm not sure how Spotlight works. 
as I show off my Discord notification up there. And wow, four for four. I mean, hang. Justin Smoke. So yeah, I do have some vintages. Honestly, I barely even remember where those came from. That must have been my last puck opening with this team, but it's really been so long. So I guess those vintages are all going to be thrown into some combos during double mileage. So, Mike Zanino. See, maybe we pull him. See how it goes. We pull the... I believe that's Oscar Mercado. Occasionally listen to the Talking Baseball podcast. And he was a guest a little while back. So, wow. And Jay Bruce with that power. And that's a pretty solid Blake Snell card. And do a little no more if any of you are interested. But that Bruce has got some ridiculous power. And hey, we pulled Blake Snell. So now I pulled the uh, Blake Snell, I think, on each of my accounts. Well, not my Royals account, but I have a fourth alt that I used to play on. And I had a Diamond Blake Snell in my rotation. So a little funny coincidence there. And so, yeah, let's see. I guess I might as well throw in this Toy Hunter and just keep going. Try to pull somebody usable on that Ballinger. Wow. 74 base. That would be a immediate upgrade. And hey, we pull Tapera, I believe is how it's pronounced. You guys let me know down below. But boss, power pitch or sharpshooter. I guess sharpshooter would be good if you were manual playing a lot, so that's a solid skill set. Not sure if he'll be of much use to me, but yeah, looks like that's going to be our last combo there. And now we can hop into those ultimate team select packs, and I really hope we'll see a diamonds. And so yeah, let's first, I guess we should probably use this team change ticket, which is pretty cool. Switch to Cardinals so I can get them as my daily reward team. Yeah, now I'm a Cardinals team, so that's pretty cool. This live season ultimate pack lying around. Might as well open it. No diamonds. So let's see how we do. And we pull state in 20. So, I'm surprised this card is still the lone of VR, but I guess I'll have to update him. I mean, he usually has some ridiculous cards. As we pull a Corey Knebel, 60 base. And yeah, I mean, here it goes. This is probably going to take a little bit, but hopefully it's well worth it at the end. First pack here. No diamonds. And John Jay, 65 base. It's 14 card. Not too knowledgeable about any of the high cardinals players outside of, I guess, pool holes and no you know, Wainwright has some good cards. And uh, on Kiwi, pull him. 66 base. Not really a year that I'd want to have in Diamond, but I guess I wouldn't be opposed to having a Diamond to him. Third gold now. And Matt Carpenter. I believe he does have a Prime. And wouldn't mind pulling a Prime at all. And so let's see how we do in... This fourth pack, I guess. Still no diamond, wow. Pretty discouraging. Carlos Martinez, that's a very nice card that I would love to have in diamond. Can't imagine he has a starting pitcher card, and much better than that. As we pull our fifth Cardinals gold. I believe this is Aledmi's Diaz, so 63 base. Not his best card. Two more left now. It's probably going to be painful for me to edit if we don't pull anything here. So again, another gold. Not seeing any sparkles. And Albert Pujols. So got some nice power and eye. It's a good contact too. And yeah, definitely a solid card. Our last one here. I'm really assuming it's not going to be a diamond. And yeah, it is not a diamond. So that's pretty nice to come to. Got a Colton Wong. I think he has some pretty decent years too. 
And yeah, let's get started. The reason I'm going to be starting with opening one of these diamond team selected packs is that I'd rather open the position select packs first in case I pull a bunch of great starting pitchers and need to fill some holes in my lineup. So that's just my thought personally. See, so yeah, without further ado, I can open one and see what the Cardinals can get us. So it is a diamond. Wish I saw one of those out of it. An ultimate team select pack, but let's see who it is. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I guess he's got a good uh, distribution of hitting stats there, but 62 base with that low 62 GI doesn't help me out. But hey, slugger instinct heavy hitter, not the worst skill set in the world, so. Definitely we can improve, I hope, by pulling somebody better in the next video with his account. So, going pretty slow, but hey, see how it goes. And actually, meanwhile I'm at it, why should I open up just one? I mean, why drag it out? I'm going to be opening up four more, so I can open up five and make this a uh, little four-part, I guess, mini-series on my channel. We might as well have fun with it. <laughs> I mean, it's a video game, and yeah. So let's see. Matt Carpenter, very nice. No skills on him, but still a very solid card. And I'm pretty weak yet, second base, so hopefully he'll be a good improvement for my lineup. Got to make sure I choose the right team here. And let's see how we do at this one. And Yadier Molina, nice. So 69 base, looks pretty solid to me. Got a low GI, or else his OVR would be a little higher, but Charisma Legend. <laughs> That's a keeper skill set for me, I'm pretty certain. I don't think I have any decent catchers, I mean. I'll have to go check after I open up these last two. Or last one, I mean... I'm honestly losing count here, but let's see how we do out of this one. That Molina was a very nice pull. Charisma Legend is definitely a big upgrade for me at the moment. And we pull a Helsley. Ryan Helsley, so mess fixer. Not terrible either, so definitely think as a team reliever he'll make my bullpen. I'm going to quickly check and see how many of these teams select time impacts I've opened so it looks like I've pulled three batters I think just that Helsley so can open one more and then, yeah hopefully we pull something just gonna admire Sachem's 2019 Cardinal team so pretty cool now let's open up this last diamond team select pack for the video see how we do Maybe a decent starting pitcher, but as long as it's not a duplicate, I'm not too worried about it. I'm going to pull Jose Martinez, who's just one of my absolute favorite players to watch. I feel like he probably has a better year than this. I know 2019 was in his best year. I think he had a good 2018. Yeah, hit 270, so not a bad year for him, but he's definitely a guy I really enjoy watching. And so, yeah, I think that was a very solid pack opening. Very happy to open up those team select diamond packs, the five of them. I'm going to quickly train up those players, throw in my lineup, and we'll see how my OVR improves from 93.3 OVR error. If it improves at all, which I hope it does, but yeah, let's see how it goes. So I just bragged my lineup, and this is what it looks like with a few of those new additions in my lineup, mainly the Molina, the Carpenter, and the Helsley. So, yeah, I mean, I'll show you quickly. Got some okay trains on them. This is the highest OVR I was able to get my team while maintaining a Cardinals D set deck. Currently have 11 Cardinals, so I'm one short of a Cardinals C set deck. And so, yeah, I mean, I just quickly used some upgrade tickets on this big McBride. 
Gonna do some training with him off camera. I was originally trying to wrap up the video like that and use those upgrade upgrade tickets while I close the video, but unfortunately the recording just decided to be a little wonky, but no worries there. So just some other information on this team. I'm not going to use any skill changes or skill or sorry or GI reset tickets or player upgrades for material that I may have saved up until I open up all these Diamond Team Select Packs. I would hate to invest a lot of resources in a player and then end up pulling a better year of their card or a slightly worse card with better skills. Because, I mean, 28 skill change tickets is still a reasonable amount, but I could burn through all those looking for a in-game skill set on a starting pitcher, so just my thoughts, but if you guys have any advice for me on how I can improve this series or anybody right off the bat you want me to skill change so far, definitely take that in consideration and think about that, but yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed. I know a lot of you have been Tom Eagle Cardinals for a while, kind of felt that way deep down, but it's okay. A lot of time before I was able to make that decision and yeah I hope everybody enjoyed the video make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video